Live from downtown Detroit, home of WDIV and Click on Detroit, Local 4 News at Noon starts now. And the talks between General Motors and the UAW topping our show here at noon. The lead negotiator for the union says that those talks have hit a big snag. The strike has shut down GM plants across the country since September 16th, stopping production in the United States and Canada. Let's get out to local force Jason Coltorp right now where uh, he's got a look at where things stand at this hour. And Jason, what are you hearing? Well, Hank, that snag you're talking about happened over the weekend and it came in the form of GM's response to a new offer by the union. And the union put out a proposal and they say GM responded with one that had already been rejected. Now we know this because the union's top negotiator put it in a letter to the 46 thousand employees who were out on strike out in front of headquarters like the Rensen today and all the other idle plants walking that picket line. And if there was any dissension in the ranks because of, you know, workers being frustrated that the deal wasn't done yet, you know, you're entering the fourth week now of being on strike and strike pay is only $250. Well, that dissension was quelled pretty quickly with that letter because the workers I talked with out here today are mad and motivated. That letter that came out yesterday, it put a fire in all of our bellies. We're pretty upset. We're, it basically made us feel like we're not appreciated for the work that we do. And if it wasn't for us out, you know, working those jobs, they wouldn't be making what they're making upstairs. Now, it may have been a snag, but talks didn't break off. Talks went all day yesterday into the evening. They picked up again this morning. Uh, and if you ask some people who have watched these negotiations over the years, they say it's oddly enough, it's not unheard of to think that a deal could be reached at any moment now, especially right after you have some contentious moments. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Of course, we'll be watching it all unfold. Hank, back to you. Hey, Jason, thank you for the live report from downtown Detroit.